Welcome to Yuck, Dumb, Boo, and Bum, the video series where we go over all of the baseball games for NES. There's actually a ton of games for NES as far as baseball goes, and we're going to start with the original, which is Bases Loaded. And if you look there on the uh, left-hand side, you see Yuck, Dumb, Boo, and Bum. That's where we got the name from for this. That's the name Plate Umpire, First Base, Second Base, and Third Base Ups. So, we don't have any password, but normally if you're playing a season mode, which is painstakingly long, I do not recommend ever doing that, unless you have about seven months of free time. Just tap on through, and you pick a team. Now, a lot of these aren't actual cities with this. There's Philly and Boston, but there's also Hawaii and Utah. Um, for the purpose of this, we're going to pick J for Jersey, and there's a reason behind that. They picked Boston, which is an actual team. <clears throat> You get 12 different pitchers to pick from, and all you get when you highlight them is their name and their ERA. So you're going strictly off of ERA, uh, no FIP, no WHIP, no no any other stats, really. So there's a lot of pitchers with very high ERAs there. Even less is a big one. Uh, looks like Rose was probably at 310 was the lowest. Some of these games, when you get a little later on, they wind up being relievers and they have less stamina, but it doesn't really affect them in this, so we'll put Rose on the mound, and they're starting Pacos. Interesting difference between this and a lot of the other games as well is most of the games, you're actually the away team. But in Bases Loaded, the original one, you're the home team. That pitch came in very, very slowly. This was a game I played a lot when I was younger. I haven't really played that much of it probably in the past, I don't know, 25 years, something like that. Uh, whoa, and he didn't get to that one. So yeah, it is at least a top-down scrolling one, which really does help, but it does take a little while to find some guys on the field, uh, particularly your outfielders, obviously. So you can go inside with your pitches. You see they're still hitting it. Let's see if we can find that center fielder in time. There he is. Let's see if we can throw back to first. And, ooh, see that was, that looked like... It's interesting, a lot of these ones, the graphics, it looks like he's actually on the base, but apparently we got him in time. Uh, there is a 400 hitter with the 47 home runs there, Frida, and that's not, even, that's not even the most home runs. You'll see the guy with most home runs uh, either in the bottom of the first or bottom of the second. I end up getting out in order. Um, should be in the first. So yeah, as I said, you can go up, down, left, and right. You really got to hold it, though, to kind of get that ball to drift. You saw kind of that upshoot pitch, which I, I don't think is physically possible. At least not in hardball. It would be in softball. And that's usually one of your best bets. So, there you go. Uh, Ryder appears to be your leadoff batter. Um, when these come in, you got to swing a little earlier than when you would think the ball would actually get there in order to make the play. That's one of the tricky things with this. So, let's see, Becker's the next guy. They all have different stances. It does actually affect them. There's a handful of different stances in the game as to how they swing the bat. A guy like this is going to have a little more trouble hitting an inside pitch because you can see how far out his bat is. That ball looked like it was outside, and then that just came across the screen, so you can get some real movement on it. It's very hard to track these sometimes. Well, there are harder games for the NES to track and you'll be able to see that so one runner on here's your man right now paste the legendary paste 467 hitter 60 home runs it couldn't give him 61 because that was the record at the time so i mean with numbers like that you don't expect him to be missing a 65 mile an hour pitch that winds up at his knees but there you go ah oh, some real changing of speeds so one of the things here is if you hit paste, oh look at that, they're throwing back to first, but I don't even remember how to steal. I think it's actually up and B, uh, but after the pitcher is thrown, you really can't get a head start this game. And there you go, the 467 hitter strikes out. So with paste, like I was saying, if you hit him in the head, he will charge the mound. So that's why sometimes it's fun to play against Jersey to do that to get him out of the game. Because after he does that, it does actually send him to the 
uh, well, he gets kicked out of the game. So, as you would assume when you charge the mound at a pitcher. So you have to press down and be in this one to be able to advance bases. It took a second to figure that out. That's why nobody moved right away. Some really good hitters here, or at least as far as their stats go. I've only seen a little bit of that. That looks like it's going to drop in, and it is. So in this situation, I got that runner to go home without having the guy from first go to second because he hadn't reached first base yet. If he had, he would have gone as well, and then it's a pain in the butt trying to get guys to go back. You have to press A and closer to the base to go back. So you saw that ball just kind of held there, it's coming across, and, and then just came back in. So for right-handed pitchers, it will do that. They have that possibility. So you really have to be careful because you, you don't know where that ball is going to wind up. Best thing you can do is try and get as much of the bat across as you can and get it to hit something. Ooh, that reminds me, if you just hear that foul port, let's see if we get another foul ball here. No, that's a fair ball. So we'll go over it next time we get a foul ball. But uh, so that's our first inning of that. We'll try another inning or two here just to see how we do. Uh, Norcus, that is a that is a fantastic name. This fellow named Norcus. Let's see. See, now that time I actually pressed both. One time I pressed to the left, one time I pressed to the right. Didn't really do anything. You have to really hold and press that button. I'm really holding and pressing to the right. And that was a strike. I guess. Good catch by my catcher, which... They shouldn't really miss the ball in this, which is also weird because you will see they don't have a, a arm attached to that glove. So that glove just goes over there, and I'll send it the other way. And the glove will just go on its own. Also, that was a borderline strike. Let's try that pitch again. I'm, I'm pressing down and to the right as far as I can go. And apparently these are still winding up in the zone. I don't blame them for swinging. So, no, obviously not a lot of memory in these games, so, you know, you don't have a lot of other sounds, certainly a lot of other words, but you do hear a strike and out and foul, and particularly the foul sounds like Ronald Reagan. So I'll, I'll shut up next time I get a pitch in there, and we'll see if you can actually hear that voice. It sounds like Reagan. It's, uh... All I, all I hear is from, from Family Guy, the uh, Reagan smash. Speaking of smash... Uh, that one's gonna get out. It's a good chance to see the home run graphic. Man, the pitcher is cannot believe it. And he's crushed that he gave up a home run in the second inning. That guy's pumping around the bases. He's gonna get plugged next time up. And there's somebody who's... Is he praying? I don't know. He seems confused by what happened. I don't, I don't know what he's doing bending over like that. He seems to be, like, distraught, and the guy runs past him, he's like, what's going on? Again, this is the second inning of a very long, the first game of a very long season. Dial it back, guys. So, yeah, let's see this disfigured arm really go. The hand. Hmm. No, we haven't done yet. We haven't hit a batter. I don't know if I could hit a right-handed batter. It's kind of a little tricky. See with that? He still swings that... Wow. Okay, so I pressed B right as that ball came to the shortstop, and he seemed to sort of fall over in a dive, but it's allowed him to catch the ball. So, uh, let's see. We're batting again. This guy's got a really long nose. I just noticed that. I think that's his nose. So, can I leave my bat here? Okay, you gotta connect with it, but if in that case... That's an option to bunt. However, you press B as well, you can bunt. I'm not going to do it because there's two strikes, but that situation, just move the bat up and down and try to connect with it. It's a little tricky because that bat gets very thin at that point in time. So, here you go, right? Up and down and finding it. And again, right? That ball moves so much. Interesting note, too. There you go. When you do that... <laughs> You, you could really, in theory, bunt it anywhere. Um, but it's the check swing that's really dangerous. I don't know how that guy didn't get to that shortstop, didn't get to that ball. Anyways, our pitcher's up, so I'm going to pinch hit for him. Uh, just so we can get up to this graphic here. 
and there you go. So now here you got your list of pinch hitters. You have a crazy number of pinch hitters, by the way. I don't see how you have, you're dressing 18 position players here. You only put eight on the field, but there you go. So let's go through the list. Romeo, Yeller, <laughs> Sens, Gillis, Cooper, Goro, Barra. Well, that could be a good name or a bad one. Mandy, Otis, and Vogel. All right, uh, Otis is good, Barra is good. Romeo is definitely the best. Let's see Romeo bat. Watch what happens here. Ah, look at that. I've got my bat. Now I'm happy. Yes, there it is, right in my hands. Well, he's a lefty, so I guess we're playing the percentages. Although I really don't know what way my pitcher threw. Let's see what we get here. One of the things with this game, though, this is why we're only going to play a few innings. Uh, is it is a very long game. I mean, take a look. We're only, we've got one out in the bottom of the second right now. I don't know how long this has been, but it's definitely been a while. So, in later uh, instances of this game, um, they start going a lot faster. Like, base is loaded three. Um, you can play a game of that in under 15 minutes. This one usually takes 45 minutes. By the way, you take a look there. That first baseman fired the ball to the second baseman right away. They didn't credit him with the out at first. You have to hold on to that ball, or you just toss it. If you toss it right past it too quickly, it won't register the out. So anyways, we got to come up with a new pitcher for at least one at bat here. Ooh, there's a guy named Raccoon. Okay, we got to go with the Raccoon for this one. And against Tyler, the catcher. All right. See, again, now that he's a left-handed pitcher, and you don't know this before, by the way, but now that he's a left-handed pitcher, you can see how the, the mound's on the other side now. So, again, we're going to try to hit the guy, but this is not very easy to do. Especially when he keeps swinging at these inside pitches. Okay, that one they didn't call a strike, which is probably, you know, that's reasonable. So I just keep throwing that ball inside, they keep doing that. So, Raccoon got faced his one batter, got him out. Good for him. Let's try to bring in a new pitcher. And, of course, they say new pitcher. Um, Alright, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, let's go with less. Let's say less is more. And they uh, drive him in on the bullpen kite. Which I didn't even know they still had back then at that point in time. So this is a right-handed pitcher. So, again, right, the mound is switched over. Basically the same concept otherwise. And they have to track this ball... As you see, not always the easiest thing to do. And that was that ball was sailing in the first baseman. But unlike some games, they won't wait for you to hold it and stop. If you're partway through, that's fine. It's good enough for them. He says, ow, as you can see. So yeah, right-handed pitchers can hit lefties a lot better than lefties can hit righties. But... Not the easiest thing. So now, see, it's a right-handed pitcher. If I'm going to try to hit him again and just hold it all the way over, that's a hittable ball. Uh, oh, the fielder couldn't decide he was going to go get it, so nobody's going to get it. So you just press A to throw it. He will just throw to essentially what would be the cutoff, man. Now here, okay, kind of caught the tail end of that there. If you throw to your own bag, the guy just sort of releases the ball, does kind of a, a Michael Jackson move, and then catches it. Not really a recommended idea, but, you know, there you go. So the way this guy has leaned over, I threw that ball. would have hit him probably anywhere else but on his butt, based on where he was. So we're really going to hold down the down button this time as we throw. And again, can't hit him so well. So let's try up and uh, to the right. See if we can get him here. Ooh, got him right in the face. So we haven't gotten anybody to charge the mound yet, but we, we'll we give it maybe one more try, and then we're going to say that's it. Although well, the bases are loaded, maybe we shouldn't be doing that in theory. All right, Norcus is the batter. Good old Norcus. Ooh! Got him inside. You can sort of hear a noise there. And, uh... 
Yeah, the game doesn't do very well when you do this too often, so let's just try to get another out. But this game, this was... I believe this was actually the first baseball game that I had for my NES. Um, I distinctly remember playing it, I think it was about six years old. Maybe seven, but probably six years old as a kid. And my brother had, uh, I think, jumped and slipped in the shower. He was like three at the time. Uh, he needed to get stitches in the back of his head. Uh, so my mom took him to the hospital. And my uncle came over to watch me. And, you know, there was no bedtime at that point. This was in the evening, by the way. But like, it was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I was six years old. And he was okay with me just staying up pretty much till my mom got home. So I, we was sitting on the couch. And I was sitting in front of the TV playing Bases Loaded. So, good memories of this game. Maybe not for my brother, but, but for me, anyways. So, I had a number of these games that we will be going through. A couple of them I just rented a handful of times. Um, some of them I've never seen before, so this is going to be my first chance to see them as well. Um, and we'll see how they go. We'll kind of experience them as we go through. Some of the real classics, popular games, Base Wars, RBI Baseball... And then some random stuff. Bad news baseball. Um, I gotta look at the other ones to tell you, to be honest with you. There's some interesting ones. Um, there's a Tecmo game uh, for baseball, which I actually didn't remember. I remember there being a, a hockey one, which was awful. Football, which is, you know, the classic. I think there's a basketball one, too. Baseball, I did not know. So, we'll get a chance to see all that. Take one more at bat here with paste before we call it a day. The legend himself, 467, 60 home runs. No RBIs, but I'm sure he has a lot of them. As Reagan calls that foul ball. He's only hitting it backwards, so that's not going very well. Struck out his last time, too, so that wasn't very good either. There we go. Wow, look at that bounce on that one. You're going to release like that, though, it's no problem. All right, well, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll have another one up for you real soon.